Hey folks, hello and welcome to another Divi tutorial by the team here at Divi Engine. My name is Roby, and today I'm going to be expanding a bit on a tutorial we did last week showing you how you can customize your Divi filter portfolio module to have the filters trigger with any other Divi module. Definitely check out the description of this video for a link to that tutorial. Now, what we're gonna be doing today is if you look here on my screen, we're gonna be changing the filterable portfolio module to show the title of the portfolio item on hover. It's a pretty cool effect. It builds on top of what we already know. Now, if you're following along in text is more your style, follow the link in the description for the text instructions. Now, also just make sure you've got about five minutes set aside. We're gonna dive into a little bit of CSS. So with that all sorted, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start here in the back end of my Divi install. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can open up a page that you created previously where you have maybe a folderable portfolio module. You, you of course have one if you followed along last week, or you can just create a new page. Um, I'm just gonna show the process from the start. So I'm gonna click here on add new on page and I'll just give it a quick name, folder tutorial, and then I'm gonna use the Divi Boulder. That'll probably think here and probably clear that cache. Let's see what it decides to do. Looks like we're good. Now I've got that filter oil portfolio from last week's tutorial saved here. Now, again, definitely follow the link in the description to go ahead and find that if um, it's something you wanna follow along with. But here I just easily pulled in my layout and when I open it up over here, we can see the filterable portfolio module. Now we wanna make sure as you can see right now, we can see that the icon still pops up. There's no title. So we need to enable the title on this item. So we want to open up the elements and make sure that our show title option is enabled. Now I think my text is white here. So I'll just also go and change the title text to be black underneath that design tab. So now we can see those titles there, but we're not getting the effect we want, right? Let's just go ahead and publish this page. And then we can see what it does on the front end to see if it's any different. Um, but I bet you it is the same. Okay, here we go. So yeah, here we can see that we still have the icon. We don't have the title showing up, but our filters still work right here. So we're gonna wanna fix that. So the way that we do this is we need to add some CSS to our Debian install. Now, if you followed along in some of the other tutorials we've done, you'd already know that there's two places to do it, but let me show you really quick. The first place, um, and it all depends on where, you know, how often you're gonna be using this, but the first place I'm gonna show you, so yeah, on Divi and then theme options, I'll just open up a new tab and in the custom CSS area right here. So if you scroll down, we've got this fun custom CSS area. You can add all CSS for, that you wanna use along with your Divi install right here. It's a great spot to put it if you intend to reuse this class that we'll be creating on multiple pages. But if you want something isolated to just the one page and have a little bit more specificity, you keep it right here on the page that we're editing right now. So to do that, all we need to do is go ahead and we'll add a code module. And then you see it opens up this nice code window for you. Now we need to add a bunch of CSS in here and I'm not gonna leave you hanging. That's gonna be linked in the description on the text post. But if you look here on my screen right now, we have got that CSS code right here in that post. So all you need to do is go ahead and copy all this code. See, there we go. Copy that. And then I'll go back to my code module here. And then now the important part is the, the difference between doing it in the theme options for Divi and here. Here you need to tell it that it is CSS style that we're using. So you need to put it between opening and closing CSS tags. We're gonna hit enter and we're gonna paste the code in. So now you can see all this code here. We've commented it pretty well, so you kind of know what it does. The first part sets where the title will display. So this is setting it so that it's right in the middle of that card. But if you want it to be a little bit more towards the top, towards the bottom, you change these top uh, values over here. Um, and then as far as just explaining what each piece of code does, this is just letting it know the opacity starts at zero so we don't show it on the load of the page. But then as soon as we get over to hovering it, the opacity turns to one. And the next little bit of code, CSS here, just takes out that 
icon if it was set. Um, it's just a precaution so we don't have the overlap between the title and the icon. And then again, just on the overlay, making sure that if you hover on that actual text for the title, that it still displays it. So it's pretty simple stuff, uh, but you'll see here, the class that we created is de-portfolio-title. We're gonna go ahead and copy that because this code by itself is not actually going to go ahead and move the title. As you can see here, we've got the code module on the page, but what we need to do is for the filterable portfolio module, we need to go into the settings and we just copy that class. So we go to advanced CSS ID and classes. Now we're gonna wanna add one additional class. You see, as soon as I paste that in there, the CSS kicks in and just as simple as that, we've got our filterable portfolio module with the titles on hover. It's so simple, really couldn't be any easier. Let's save that and then let's come refresh this page. There we go. And there we are. We have achieved our goal. This was a super quick tutorial that just builds on what we showed you last week. And we really intend to do more of these type of tutorials to help you deepen your knowledge on Divi and um, the various awesome things you can do with it. Now, I just wanted to show you also that you can just add a new portfolio module on the page here um, if you wanted to. Let's just do a regular portfolio. Um, and we'll just make it show all categories. We'll again, just make sure that the title element is there. And let me display it here. And just show you how easily this works. Okay, well, we're gonna wanna change this to the grid layout. And then I'll think, okay, so now we've got it right here. Just by adding that class, super easy. You can see it already fixed it to do exactly the same thing. So this is not just limited to the tutorial we did last week. Any Divi install should be able to do this on both the portfolio module as well as the filterable portfolio module. And with that, that is it folks. This was a really quick dive through on how to expand on our tutorial from last week. If you like this content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, we really appreciate it. And any feedback that you have, questions or suggestions, send them our way. Again, you'll find more great tutorials like this at diviengine.com forward slash resources. And I definitely look forward to hearing from you guys again. Again, this is Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'll catch you guys in the next video.